And if you're heading out to some of those celebrations, just make sure you continue to drink the water. Yes, the heat does relax a little bit tomorrow, so we get some slight improvements, but we still have plenty of hot weather to talk about all throughout the rest of the week. And then keep an eye on the 13 Weather Authority app. Showers and storms possible going into late afternoon and evening tomorrow, so you may have to dodge a couple rounds of thunder, lightning, and downpours as we go deeper into the day. And now about the heat that we're still dealing with right now, this early season heat wave quite intense out east and uh, it's uh, like, uh, looking likely that we had some climate change influences here. The heat today two times more likely locally because of climate change's influence and in some spots like West Virginia it was five times more likely which makes it very hard not necessarily impossible but very hard to get this kind of heat without climate change's influences. Of course that's human caused climate change. Uh, we'll still be dealing uh, with some of that influence tonight near record warm with temperatures in the mid 70s, so not much of a break coming from the heat. May get a little of it from this cold front coming in tomorrow. That will help lower the humidity a little. That makes the heat less intense, but yes, we have to watch out for some showers and thunderstorms. You can see up and down the front right now. Now these storms not likely to hold together into tomorrow morning, but there's a slight chance we may get a little rain out of this. That front then could spark scattered thunderstorms later in the day. Those have a one out of five risk for severe weather. So late in the afternoon and evening, damaging wind gusts would be the main threat. Uh, flooding rainfall can't be ruled out either. So as you look at future trek, again, we're seeing all sorts of activity to our north and west, but that likely fizzles upon arrival. But as you can see here around sunrise, may still have some brief spotty showers. So check the Weather Authority app before you head out early in the morning. Then the rest of the day looking pretty dry until we get to about 3.30 or 4. That's when we do have scattered thunderstorms popping up again. Plenty of dry time and dry places, but just make sure you're watching out for those scattered thunderstorms. You saw briefly there they could produce some stronger activity or some downpours in the evening, and then we dry out tomorrow night. We'll see this again on Thursday, so another chance for storms later this week. Then with this cold front coming through, the heat doesn't go down much. The humidity does improve a little bit. As you can see, it's still humid, but when it comes to our comfort index, we're not in that muggy to miserable range. Uh, we do have, again, that uh, slightly drier air working in, so that'll help. We're still in the 90s tomorrow, but it won't feel like 100. And then we'll continue to have the 90s for several more days, but again, not likely to feel like 100 uh, with the heat index. Big improvement by Sunday, though. Lower 80s, lots of sunshine and dry air. In your most accurate 10-day forecast, we'll see more days like that into next week, but a few 90-degree days are still sprinkled in every so often. And the 4-degree guarantee had the bullseye today, which means we're one step closer to $600, Bernie.